Recording in progress.
Hello, good afternoon. Welcome home. Sana nga bot. <laughs> Kulang pata, okay na. Uh, may I ask again your kind heart for our uh, for our Christmas celebration with our staff. Hopefully, uh, we would like to knock your kind heart for an another pirate pirate collect ng cinquenta mil. For 10,000 each, counselors, for our staff, legislative department, ang ako, 30 bio. So, this, this meal, okay na kaayo, so, daghan kaayo, salamat ha. Mangulikta, day so good, si Kyla, kaya sa ka mangulikta? Karon, kung na na mo idala, this meal, okay, regu kayo, kung ibaintin nyo, mas maayo. Jikas. Jikas. Anyway, sige, ha, let's proceed, no? 61st regular session of the 20th City Council is now called to order. Invocation by Honorable Councilor Ayan Mark Nakaya, followed by the singing of Lupang Hiniran and Kagayan de Oro March. Please rise. Let us put ourselves in the presence of God in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, again we are gathered here to get today to a plenary session that we are about to start that uh, today will have will bear fruit and we produce results in the name of public service. But we believe that without your guidance, we could not uh, move much, much uh, better in progress and development for the city. We also pray for the soul of uh, the late uh, Barangay Captain Bill Ausa that you accept him to your fold and his soul be rested well in your kingdom. This we ask to Christ our Lord. Amen. Kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Ayang magiliw, pero sa sinanalan, alam ng puso sa hindi mo'y buhay. Upang binibang, kuyat na ng magiging, sa mandutupin, di ka pasisigil sa nagatang. Sa sibuyat, sa kami kaupangaw Ay hinatang tulad ang 
Please be seated. Mr. Secretary, please do the roll call. Honorable Jocelyn B. Rodriguez, City Vice Mayor and Presiding Officer. For the first district councillors, Honorable Agapito Eriberto G. Swan, Honorable Roger G. Abaday, Honorable J. R. Pascual, Honorable Amy Rose P. Moreno, Honorable Romeo V. Calizo, Honorable George S. Goking, Honorable Jose P. P. S. Abud Jr., Honorable Malvern A. Esparcia. For the second district councillors, Honorable Ivona Yasin B. Imano, Honorable Maria Lourdes Isgaani, Honorable Jalen Mercedes El Balaba, Honorable James K. Judith II, Honorable Ian Mark Yunakaya, Honorable Edgar S. Cabanlas, Honorable Christian Rostico M. Achas, Honorable Josette G. Magtahas Daba. For the ex-official members, Honorable Yan Lam S. Lim, Liga ng Mga Barangay President, and Honorable John Michael Alceno, CTSK Federation President. There is quorum, Madam Presiding Officer. Quorum is hereby certified. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome home. Those who travel from Zamboanga, welcome home again. Nice to see you again. Muchas gracias, mi amigo. Bienvenidos. Gikan lang mo dito, nag-Espanyol na mo. Anyway, we have visitors today. The uh, majority of floor leader would like to acknowledge la later. No? Of course, our friends from media, our visitors, fellow Kagayanons, mayong hapon, kanatong tanan. Before we proceed, it is the birthday of our councillor Liga ng Barangay, Councillor Alam Lim. Salamat sa lechon. Naguna na kong kaon sa lechon. Unya siguro ng inyo. Anyway, uh, who would like to lead the song, the, the birthday song? Ah, Councillor Romeo Caliso. Yes. Uh, please rise. <laughs> Happy birthday uh, to the Honorable uh, Yan Lam Lim. Di iya pun halata nga senior citizen na, oh. yung honorable him. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, please uh, sing with me the birthday song. Uh, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, Foster. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Once again, happy birthday, Norval Yam Lam Lim. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Romeo Calizo. Thank you, thank you. Okay, thank you also. Happy birthday again, Councillor Alam Lim. So, uh, we have, you have the floor now, uh, Majority Floor Leader, Councillor Attorney Edgar Cabanlas. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Vice Mayor Bibo Rodriguez, our presiding officer. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon to the members of the City Council. Good afternoon to the people we have here present, our guest visitors, uh, people of Cagayan de Oro, and also the people of Samonga City for uh, uh, our uh, uh, unprecedented uh, reception yeah, we received from uh, the people of Samonga City. Uh, Madam Chair, may I move to dispense the reading of the minutes of the previous regular session of this Council on November 13, 2023 and consider the furnishing copies thereof as approval as reading itself. Any second? Objection? I hear none. Motion is hereby carried. Move for the approval of the said uh, minutes. Any second? Objection? I hear none. Motion is hereby carried. Uh, there is no... There is no uh, Special report uh, portion here. We instead we have we will recognize 
an award to plaque of appreciation to our visitors, Madam Chair, as recommended by the commi Chairman, Committee Chairman on uh, Education, uh, Honorable Susit Magtahas Daba. They are the following, Mr. Horst Hans Becker and uh, Professor Horst Hans Becker, the Associate Dean of the, Cali of the Liceo de Cagayan Conservatory of Music, Theater, Dance, Cagayan de City. And Professor Cipriano de Guzman, Jr., Professor Liceo de Cagayan Conservatory of Music, Dance, and Theater, Cagayan de City. Uh, we would like to request Councillor Suzette yeah. Magtas Daba to read the citation. Councillor Suzette Daba, you have the floor. Thank you so much, Madam Chair. Thank Suzette you so much. Oh, okay. uh, after, after I will read. After, uh, okay. yes. uh, Majority Floor Leader Attorney Ed Cabanlas, uh, to my colleagues from the 20th City Council and our guests this afternoon, uh, Mang Hapon. Uh, resolution number 14729-2023 in the 20th City Council, Sangguniang Panlunsod of Cagayan de Oro, during the 59th regular session on October 23, 2023, City Councilor Suzette G. Magtahas Daba, together with City Vice Mayor Jocelyn B. Rodriguez, and City Councilors Agapito Eriberto G. Swan, Roger G. Abaday, Amy Rose P. Moreno, J. R. Pascual, Romeo V. Calizo, George S. Goking, Jose Pepe S. Abo Jr., Malvern A. Esparcia, Yevonne, Yevonne Yasine B. Emano, Maria Lourdes S. Gaane, James K. Judith, the second, Edgar S. Cabanlas, Ayan Mark Q. Nakaya, Christian Rustico M. Achas, Yan Lam S. Lim, and John Michael L. Seno submitted the following measure, which was considered and approved to resolution, commending Mr. Horst Hans Becker, Associate Dean of the Liceo de Cagayan Conservatory of Music, Theater, and Dance, this city, for winning second place during the 2022 World Vision Composers Contest. Whereas Mr. Horst Hans Backer, Associate Dean of the Liceo de Cagayan Conservatory of Music, Theater and Dance, this city, won second place during the 2022 World Vision Composers Contest. Whereas he joined the Liceo de Cagayan Conservatory of Music, Theater and Dance in Cagayan de Oro as a professor in May 2016 and upon the invitation of Dean Rodolf Cesar Goles and Chairperson Rafaelita Pelaez played a crucial role in creating a music curriculum that adheres to international standards. Whereas Mr. Becker, a co-founder and conductor of the Cagayan de Oro Symphony Orchestra since 2018 has expanded the reach of classical music in the city, whereas he has chosen Cagayan de Oro as his home and has, through his teaching and performances, enriched the local music industry and inspired young talents to pursue their musical aspirations. Whereas his presence in Cagayan de Oro, along with his family, is a testament to his commitment to promoting classical music enriching the local culture and nurturing the talents of Cagayan de Oro. Wherefore, on motion by Councillor Suzette G. Magdahas Daba, duly seconded by Councillors John Michael Elseno and Edgar S. Cabanlas, be it resolved to extend our heartfelt commendation to Mr. Horst Hans Becker and wish him continued success in his musical career and artistic endeavors. Resolved further to present a copy of this resolution to Mr. Horst Hans Becker as a token of our appreciation and as a testament to his remarkable talent and contribution to the world of music and performing arts in Cagayan de Oro City. Unanimously adopted, signed Jocelyn B. Rodriguez, City Vice Mayor, Presiding Officer. Thank you very much, uh, Councillor Susette uh, Magtahas Daba. We would like to. Together, okay. 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 Yes. Uh, so they will be called together, Madam Chair. So resolution number one four seven two eight 
2023 in the 20th City Council Sangguniang Panlunsod of Cagayan de Oro during the 59th regular session on October 23, 2023. City Councilor Suzette G. Magtahas Daba, together with City Vice Mayor Jocelyn B. Rodriguez, and City Councilors Agapito Eriberto G. Swan, Roger G. Abaday, Amy Rose Pier Moreno, J.R. Pascual, Romeo V. Calizo, George S. Goking, Jose Pepe S. Abo Jr., Malvern A. S. Parsha, Yevona Yasine B. Emano, Maria Lourdes S. Gaana, James K. Judith II, Edgar S. Cabanlas, Ayan Mark Q. Nakaya, Christian Rustico M. Achas, Yan Lam S. Lim, and John Michael L. Seno submitted the following measure, which was considered and approved a resolution commending Professor Cipriano de Guzman Jr. of Liceo de Cagayan University Conservatory of Music, Theater, and Dance for being the first Filipino featured in full Italian opera in Campo Basso, Italy. Whereas Professor Cipriano de Guzman, Jr. is a distinguished member of the faculty of the Liceo de Cagayan University, Conservatory of Music, Theater, and Dance in Cagayan de Oro City, Philippines. Whereas Professor Cipriano de Guzman, Jr. recently achieved a remarkable milestone in his career by making his Italian opera debut on September 23 and 24, performing in The Barber of Seville at the prestigious Teatro Savoia in Campo Basso, Italy. Whereas it is worth noting that this significant achievement marks the first time in 16 years that a Filipino has graced the stage in a full opera production in the birthplace of opera, Italy with the last known Filipino performer being Filipino-American tenor Arthur Espirito in 2007 whereas Professor Cipriano de Guzman, Jr. displayed immense talent and dedication as he portrayed the challenging role of Dottore Bartolo in Rossini's renowned opera, El Barbiere de Saviglia. I don't know if I pronounce it right, Madam Chair. A role recognized for its technical complexity and artistic demands. Whereas the 20th City Council expresses its deepest admiration to Professor Cipriano de Guzman Jr. for his outstanding achievement and for representing Cagayan de Oro City and the country in the international stage. Wherefore, on motion by Councillor Suzette G. Magtahas Daba, duly seconded by Councillors John Michael Seno and Edgar Cabanlas, be it resolved to extend commendation to Professor Cipriano de Guzman Jr and wish him continued success in his musical career and artistic endeavors. Resolve further that a copy of this resolution be presented to Professor Cipriano de Guzman Jr. as a token of our recognition and as a testament to his rec remarkable talent and contribution to the world of music and performing arts in Cagayan de Oro City. Unanimously approved, signed Jocelyn B. Rodriguez, City Vice Mayor, Presiding Officer. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, uh, Councillor Suset Daba. Yes, Majority for Reader. Uh, at this point in time, Madam Chair, may I request that uh, Mr. Becker and Mr. D. Guzman be requested to come uh, and stand be, uh, behind our Vice Mayor for the receipt, uh, for the receipt of... Uh, let us all welcome and give them a round of applause. May uh, may move for the suspension of the rules. Rules suspended. Sir, come up with. Ah, may I request the members of the city council for uh, to for a group uh, picture. Di tulen tinggal kita sa, Madam Chair, di ni lang tinggal sa ubos. Para makarun na dia, dia masih mung abai. Ah kami sa ona, alis sa, alis sa set. Ah sa ona. Set. Sa set. Kena sil, alis sa tulen check. Ah yeah yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> and uh, Mr. 
Mr. De Guzman. Thank you and welcome. <laughs> so, did you get us our boss? Did you get boss? Majority. Or and who will give a sample of the song? You give us, both of you can sing? Yeah, no, sample set. Okay. Probably you can sing, huh? Thank and uh, Ate Pakanta. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And happy birthday. Huh? Huh? Uh, Madam Chair, uh, yes. Professor uh, De Guzman will Sing first. render a song number yes. for us. Yes, okay. Uh, Professor so, De Guzman, <laughs> microphone. Adelira, capella.
Very beautiful voice. Ha? Huh? Natandog ka? Natandog ka, Counselor Gurley? So, thank you very much again. Our visitors are here today. Daghan salamat. More power. And have a safe trip back home. No? Thank you. So, okay. Let us proceed. Uh, the session resume. Yes, uh, let's uh, proceed to our uh, business of the day. But before that, again, I would like to uh, greet our fellow councillor Alam Lim. A happy birthday. For the the one waiting there in the other room. The lechon. The lechon. Number one, proposed resolution number 2023-536. Returning to the Barangay Council of Barangay 13, the city is or its ordinance numbers number 2, 2023, series of 2023, covering its supplemental budget number 1 for CY 2023 with an estimated income of 1,487,732 with information that the ordinance is operative in its, in its entirety. Request, Madam Chair, that Councillor Yan Lam Lim be recognized. Councillor Yan Lam Lim. Ah, number two. Move on. Oh, I see. Ah, uh, tiwasa sa Thursday, palihog. Gika po yung sabiyahe. Gika po yung sabiyahe. Okay, yeah. sige, go ahead. For omnibus motion, uh, one, and then number two, uh, proposed resolution number 2023, that's 537, returning to the Barangay Council of Barangay Tignapuluan, the city, its ordinance number 002, series of 2023, covering its supplemental budget number one for calendar year 2023 with an estimated income of 490,452 pesos. For item three, proposed resolution number 2023, that's 538. Returning to the Barangay Council of Barangay Number no. 5, the city, its ordinance number 2023-11-002, series of 2023, covering its supplemental budget number no. 1 for calendar calendar year 2023 with an estimated income of 1,128,000 pesos and 387 pesos. 
for item 4, proposed resolution number 2023-539. Returning to the Barangay Council of Barangay Balulang, the city, it's ordinance number 2023-09-001, series of 2023. Covering its supplemental budget number 1 for calendar year 2023 with an estimated income of 12,514,971 pesos and 23 centavos. For item 5, proposed resolution number 2023-540. Returning to the Barangay Council of Barangay number 15, this city, its ordinance number 01-023, series uh, 2023, covering its supplemental budget number 1 for calendar year 2023 with an estimated income of 400,683 pesos and 87 centavos. For item 6, uh, proposed resolution number 2023-541. Returning to the Barangay Council of Barangay Number 39, this city, its ordinance number 02 2023, series of 2023, covering its supplemental budget number 1 for calendar year 2023 with an estimated income of 482,385 pesos and 63 centavos with the information that said ordinances are operative in their entirety. May I request, Madam Chair, that uh, thank you, uh, that Councillor Ayan Lamlim be recognized. Councillor Ayan. Councillor Yan Lam Lim, you have the floor. Madam Chair, everything is in order. I move for omnibus approval of one purpose resolution 2023-536, purpose resolution 2023-537, purpose resolution number 2023-538, purpose resolution number 2023-539. Purpose resolution number 2023-540. Purpose resolution number 2023-541. And a second? Second. Objection. I hear that motion is here by Karid. Move to approve and second final reading. Madam second. Chair. Objection. I hear that motion is here by Karid. Item 7, proposed ordinance number 2023-335, authorizing the city accountant to charge the sum of 5 million. 421,387 pesos and 90 centavos from the item maintenance and other operating expenses, drugs and medicines in the 2023 annual budget of the office of the city health officer, the city, to cover payment of the CY 2022 payable for drugs and medicines per purchase request number 223205 and obligation request number 017773 dated September 19, 2023 and November 8, 2022, respectively. I request that Councillor Maria Lourdes S. Gani be recognized, Madam Chair. Councillor Lourdes Gani, you are recognized. Thank you, Madam Chair. May hapon ka tanan. I move for the approval of proposed ordinance number 2023-335. Second. Objection. I hear none. Motion is here by Karid. Move to approve and second final reading. Second. Objection. I hear none. Motion is here by Karid. Item 8. Turks, please. Item 8 is proposed ordinance number 2023-336. Repealing ordinance number 14421-2022 entitled an ordinance authorizing Honorable City Mayor Orlando E. Oy, the Roads and Traffic Administration, RTA, Cagayan de Oro City Police Office, and other traffic law enforcement agencies to ease up or loosen up the implementation of the mandatory wearing, uh, wearing of safety helmet for motorcycle drivers and their pillion riders within the population area and in urbanized areas such as barangays Nazaret, Makasandig, and Carmin, including the uptown area, and other areas, as may be identified by the city mayor, provided that the 30 km per hour speed limit therein, pursuant to the traffic code of the city, is complied with. Being the author, I move for the approval of proposed ordinance number 2023-336. And a second. Objection. I hear none. Motion is here by Karin. Move to approve and second and final reading. Second. Objection. I hear none. Motion is here by Karid. Uh, for, uh, for inclusion, inclusion, Madam Chair, items 9, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh. Move for the approval of it. For the inclusion. Any, any second? Objection? I hear none. Motion is hereby carried. Item 9, Turks. Yes. Item number 9 is proposed ordinance number 2023-337, authorizing the Honorable City Mayor Orlando A. Uy, representing the City Government of Gagayan de Oro, to enter into and sign the Memorandum of Agreement with the Technical Education and Skills Development Authority, Region 10, represented by its Regional Director, Mr. Dan M. Navarro, covering the collaboration of the parties in the implementation of the Trainers Methodology Level 1 Training, to be conducted by the latter, the latter through the Cagayan de Oro Bugu School, School of Arts and Trade, COBSAT, under the terms and conditions stipulated therein. Uh, this is uh, education, so may I request Madam Chair that Councillor Suzette Magtas Daba be recognized. Councillor Suzette Daba, you are recognized. Thank you, Madam, uh, Madam Chair. I move to approve proposed ordinance number 2023-337. And a second. Objection. I hear none. Motion is here by carry. Move to approve and second final reading. Second. Objection. I hear none. Motion is here by carry. Uh, item 10. Approving the supplemental budget number 5 the, of the general fund and supplemental budget number 2 of the special account local economic enterprises utilities both for calendar year 2023 with estimated incomes of 510,970,024 pesos and 70,342,401 pesos respectively against estimated expenditures of the same amount. May I request that Councillor Yan Lam Lim be recognized? Councillor Yan Lam Lim, you are recognized. Everything is in order. I move for the approval of 2023-3388. And a second? second. Objection? I hear none. Motion is here by manifestation. Query? Okay. Councillor Romeo Caliso, you have the floor. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Madam Chair. This is not uh, an objection anyway. But uh, I just want to get clarified on page 101, page 101. that is uh, on supplemental uh, budget number five under the office of the Sangguniang Pandonsod. Uh, well, I'm happy that uh, he has been chosen to, chosen to be uh, the recipient of uh, this capital outlay. Uh, I'd just like to ask why only the Honorable Melbourne Esparcia? Uh, okay. And uh, the second question is, uh, why only 170,000? Uh, to MOOE. So, Ian, a budget uh, Ian for this budget. year? Uh, uh, okay. Uh, for reversion. Very, very unlikely. Okay? It's okay. It's, uh, it could be reverted, but why only 170,000 for a one unit utility vehicle 4x2 big eye fixed double cab? Yun uh, na uh, uh, Sometimes it appears uh, uh, is that, is that very the surprising, description? Uh, Madam Chair. Yang equals MOOE. Ah, yan lang i-revert to. So is that the price? For the vehicle? No, it's a. No, I understand now, Madam ah. Chair. It's a reverting uh, the capital outlay into MOE. Yeah. Because how it was represented here yeah. is oh, somewhat uh, confusing. It said uh, it's a, the uh, specific identification is capital outlay, mm -hmm. it's not reversion. So yeah. now I understand that it is reverting the capital, uh, capital outlay into MOOE, then that's possible. Thank you very much, Madam Chair. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Councillor Romeo Caliso. Yes. There will be no objection, Madam Chair. Ah. Ah. For information, yes, Councillor Attorney James Judith. Point of information lang ni 
Madam Chair, ang ako lang klaruhon kay tipik bali sa mong supplemental budget, labi na din sa panid, uh, sa attachments na to, panid uh, 133, nakabutang din ni, naka, na din ni nakasuklip ang resolution number 001-2023. Ang ako lang pangutan na kinag-ingon mag din eh, ang pagtugot na to sa PMI or Personal Motivation Incentive sa tanan opisyalis o empleyado sa Ato Baling City Hall. Ang akong pangutan na, apil bang J.O. Ani? Wala. Lahi po ang tawag sa ila? Nay sunod ani para sa JO pod. Unsa ka page? Unsa uh, ka page? So duha ni maguban. So appeal ang JO sa kaning sa, sa supplemental budget. Kanilang kaning sa resolution number 001 para sa tanar opisyales then katong sa JO katong other personnel. Other. Ah okay. Ah okay. Then lain lain nga pangutana pa dayon. Madam Chair, kanilang uh, kung maingon ta og sa kining, page sa atong sa panid 5 or number item number 10 sa atong agenda, uh, nakaingon man gud diha nga approving the supplemental budget number 5 of the general fund. But ba pasabot ba kung maingon ta og supplemental budget number 5? ikapila uh, kung aprubahan ta ni mao ni ikalima nga hugna sulod sa calendar year 2023. So, mao gyapon nga uh, susama gyapon sa kung mingon tag supplemental budget number 2 of the special account ikaduha na pud ning hugna sa atong aprubahan sulod sa calendar year 2023. Ah okay. So, daghang salamat. Okay, thank you very much Councilor Attorney James Judith. Second. Let's proceed. Yes, second. Objection. I hear none. Motion is by carried. Move to approve on second final reading. Second. Objection. I hear none. Motion is by carried. Number 11. Uh, Proposed Ordinance Number 2023-339, authorizing the Honorable City Mayor Rolando A. Uy, representing the City Government of Cagayan de Oro, to enter into and sign the MOA with the Department of Agriculture Regional Field Office 10, represented by its Regional Director Carleen Colliado, CPA, covering the procurement of transport and delivery vehicle under the Cadiwa financial grant assistance under the terms and conditions stipulated therein. May I request Councillor J. Rua Pascual. Councillor J. Rua Pascual, you are re uh, recognized. Good afternoon, Madam Chair, and good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I move to approve proposed ordinance number 2023-339. Second. Objection. I hear none. Motion is hereby carried. Move to approve on second final reading. Any second. Objection. I hear none. Motion is hereby carried. Uh, number 12, proposed resolution number 2023-542, earnestly requesting a new, again, the Honorable Acting Presiding Judge Anna Candida Casino of Branch 24, RTC of Misamis Oriental to further hold in abeyance for a period of six months the implementation of the rate of demolition in civil case number CV 2012-288R entitled Ears of Felicidad V. Luna, Plaintiff versus Agrippino Aquino et al., Defendants for Recovery of Position with Damages at Banaba Street, Zone 5, Ilaya Carmen de City, in consideration of the education of the children of the affected families. Subject to styling, uh, we, 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 we did this uh, another amendment for the purpose of specifying how many months we are asking the court to extend the demolition. Kay katumagong primero, ano ito butangi? Medyo nag-uulang korte, kayo na unlimited man. So now we are putting a limit, uh, a period of six, six months. Okay. And a second? Objection. I hear none motion is hereby carried. Move to approve the second final reading. Second. Objection. I hear none motion is hereby carried. Number 13, proposed resolution number 2023-543, expressing the 20th City Council's deepest sorrow for the untimely demise and tragic demise of Honorable Billy Kidd is Auza, outgoing Punong Barangay of Barangay Tablon, the city, and conveying the most profound sympathy and condolences to the bereaved family, subject to styling. The burial, I think, of... Uh, 
Barry Captain Billy Ausa is on Monday. So, napagyapon siya gihaya siya uh, dito sa Lumbia. Lumbia. St. Peter's. Vincent Peter's. So, move for the uh, all members are moving and all members are seconding this motion, Madam Chair. And a second objection. I hear a motion is by Kari. Move to approve and second final reading. Second objection. I hear a motion is by Kari. Item number 14. Uh, this is very important. Also, proposed resolution number 2023-544 expressing that 20th City Council's heartfelt gratitude and sincere appreciation to the City Mayor, to Mayor John Dalipe, Dalipe. Vice Mayor Josephine Pareja, Pareja. City Councilors of Sambuanga City, Department Managers, Government workers, police officers who escorted us from the boundary of. Uh, from the boundary. Si, 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 ah, Likumo, Sambonga City, to the, our hotel in Sambonga. Uh, the people of uh, Sambonga City for their warmest welcome and hospitality, which is unprecedented, extended to the members of this August body and to the officials and employees of the city government again the oro during our visit and uh, there are for uh, on november 20 to, uh, 20 to 21 2023 for the official launching of a sisterhood agreement by and between the two parties as initiated by our chairman of education councillor susit dab magtahas daba and the UNICEF and uh, Imagine Law. So again, uh, uh, if uh, the people of Samuga City are listening or uh, watching us, we would like again to express our deep gratitude and thanks to them. We appreciate it very much their uh, generosity, which is unwanting, Madam Chair. It, it, was really, it was really a great experience. Despite the 14 hours of travel, there is a bus. <laughs> but you were all full, huh? Uh, Your tummy are full. Sometimes we eat only at 5 o'clock in the afternoon for our lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Except in Jelani, Councillor Suzette. Okay, Jelani. the fly man sila. But uh, yeah. again, uh, as a whole, everything is okay and we appreciate it very much what we did for us. Okay. Thank you very much. Our sincere thanks no, to Sabonga City. for the approval. Second, Second objection. I hear none. Motion is hereby carried. Move for uh, move to approve and second final reading. Second. Now Objection. I hear none. Motion is hereby carried. Oh. There being no other matters to take up, move for adjournment, Madam Chair. Okay. Session adjourned. Lecture is waiting. Announcement. Wala special report next week. Kay ang water district mag present sa ilang proposed water rate increase.